Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are playing the hospital. Hiyo. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who gets mild symptoms and recovers quickly, but my condition grew worse by the day. I checked into the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room and I was lucky to manage to find one. There are no vacant rooms in the hospital across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemonium out here. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've been, I've become a number, a statistic. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition gets worse. What if I don't make it? It would be hor it would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. can barely breathe. Oh, no. Are we about to KO? Are we gonna die? That's sad. Okay, so we're out of bed now. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Oh, cool. Auto saves. Oh. Anything I can collect? No. Bathroom door appears to be locked. Oh, yeah, that scared me. <laughs> that person out there. Maybe a doctor? I need to find my way. I need to find out what's going on. Bro, I think we died. I think that's what's going on, and we're just. Maybe this is us going along the process of death. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Yeah, man. Um. I think we didn't make it through the night. Can I go in here? No. Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the doors. I'm pretty sure I've seen room numbers when I checked in. Probably did, man. I'm assuming I need to go to the green. No. Sailed just like the others. That's horrible. Like this guy just woke up standing. Just woke up in the hospital. No one's here. What is going on? No luck. Didn't these doors open out to the lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. Should probably find another way. Look, it sounds like that's the other way. Where the creepy lady's walking. We'll just follow her. That sounds about right. I would have just stayed in the hospital room for a while, personally. No, thank you. You don't know what could be wandering out here. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be someone. A nurse or a doctor. A nurse or a doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. Look, I hope we find someone, genuinely. But I don't think we're going to. Oh. What? Someone's on the other side of this door. I don't- I don't want to look. 
Look, no one's here, man. The room looks just like the one I was in. But it's a mess. There's also... blood on the bed. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after last patient departed. Ma'am, do you have to do that every time you appear? That figure. Look. <laughs> the sound came from up there. Look, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. The figure I saw on the TV, it reminds me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe this whole thing is some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. <gasps> I'm going to jump to conclusions here. I think it's probably one of our passed on loved ones, maybe our partner, or maybe even our mom leading us to the beyond and that we died in the hospital. That's that's my assumption. And this is our processing death and moving forward. Look, stop running away. Get back here. Damn you! Get back here! I need answers. Ma'am, I need answers. What is going on? Do you know? I'm having a moment. Ma'am, get back here. Do you, do you know the answer to the question of what is life? What is the meaning of life? That's the question. What is the meaning of life? I guess it varies for everybody. Look, don't give me the phasmophobia voice. It's shut. <laughs> Who shut the door? Was that a corpse in there? If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. <sighs> Look, man, I just... Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Could be good. Could be bad. She just... She just seems to be, like, leading us somewhere. It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped in. How can it be her? I mean, is this the weirdest thing that has happened to you today, sir? Hi! Do you know how to make the best grilled cheese? <sighs> I want grilled cheese. <laughs> Parmesan crust grilled cheese. What the heck? What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. It's a shame that I looked up when I did. The furniture and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Okay, so it is our past partner. Hi! What's up? Can I punch you? <laughs> That's my automatic reaction. I, I'd be like, oh. oh, you can't see it. Never mind. I would probably pop her in the face. Oh, it can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, is that you? This isn't real, I'm dreaming. Nia, is this you? The familiar, that familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of these horrific memories of these horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since then. Could I have saved her life had I done something differently? And at what cost? I couldn't have saved you, Nia. I'm sorry for what happened, Nia. I'm sorry for what happened. Only cold silence. What does she want? Nia? 
Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by the past while my body lies wasting away on the hospital bed? I think you have a lot of guilt. Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixing stares, and obsessions with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to the both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse, a lot worse, the phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her eyes dark and empty and unreadable, her mouth stretching in a grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, Okay, so I'm assuming we took our partner out in self-defense. Our ex-partner. Sorry, correction. Hmm. This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is this place? I don't know. I would assume we were originally in a hospital. Now it's just very decrepit. There's another body. Hello, can I poke your toes? Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is horrible. I should move on. I'm sorry, rest in pepperoni. Is it gonna be gone when I turn around? Doesn't budge. Okay, so. Oh, Lord. <sighs> it was very mean, Nia. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Can we just go through this door? She seems to be a bit of a vengeful spirit. Nia, you need to calm yourself down. You need to calm yourself down. Maybe go drink some lemonade. Is she gonna come chasing after me? I can't even run. Oh. Nia, you mean mean noodle. You don't like this. Oh. Nia, I swear to God, I'm going to throw my shoe at you. <laughs> on the night, on that night four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched her, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grabbed the blade away and subdued her until the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later, I got a terrible call. Okay. She ended up in a mental asylum and then took her own life. That's it. It's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you felt like that and you didn't get the help that you deserved and needed. What do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Nia needed a lot of help, and she definitely didn't get it. Nia, come here. I'll give you a hug. Nia, what do you want from me? I think of that note you left. 
the last words you ever wrote. Oh lord, please don't jump into my face. Look, I'm telling you now, stop. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. Nia, I will throw orange juice at you. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if, that if I had done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, that if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. Look, that's not fair. Oh Lord, no. <laughs> that was rude, Nia, very rude. I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. Oh, Nia. Do I dare go out there? What will I find of bustling hospitals, smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home, or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in my body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead? And this is my afterlife. These dread halls, these dread halls and being torment and a tormented soul stalking me for all of eternity. I'm I'm gonna hope that we're in back where we were. Oh, the end. <laughs> so for watching guys that was the hospital um a little sad but overall that was interesting good little jump scare here and there but yeah if you guys would like to try this yourself i'll leave it down in the description down below i hope you all are remembering to stay hydrated and remember to take care of yourselves i love you guys bye <laughs>